morning students in this lecture we will be discussing tea which comes under beverage and this is a topic of plant resources and economic botany so let us discuss tea in detail now the botanical name of tea is camellia sinensis which and which is also called thea sinensis the family is thc and tea uh, has acquired prominence as an agricultural commodity in the last century and tea is very popular in britain northern ireland and australia and britain and northern ireland consumes more than 50% of the exports from uh, the producing countries so these are the two specimens which are shown here you can see that uh, the live specimen as well as the uh, pictorial description of the uh, live specimen so you can see here uh, flowers leaves etc so tea as we have already discussed the botanical name is camellia sinensis or thea sinensis in hindi it is called chai and it is a beverage so the economically important part used for tea are leaves and uh, so uh, this is this gives it a popular name uh, or popular beverage called tea the economically important part are leaves and uh, the plant is a shrub which is approximately 3 to 4 feet tall and it contains uh, 2.5% thein 13 to 18% tannin volatile oils and small amount of caffeine then uh, the leaves are plucked cured and infusion is boiled in water which gives uh, the most popular beverage of the world which is your tea and india is one of the leading producers and exporters of tea approximately 73% of total output comes from southeast region of india especially assam and west bengal so you must have heard assam tea which is a very popular tea so in this picture you can see uh, the tea garden and the women they are plucking the tea leaves and the putting in their basket so if you visit any tea garden please see the plant of uh, tea and focus on the details now let us discuss the morphology of the plant so uh, it is believed that tea originated either in india or china or both and tea of commerce uh, consists of processed tender leaves or leaf buds of camellia sinensis so what is economically important part and they are tender leaves and leaf buds so under natural conditions the tea plant is an evergreen or semi evergreen woody shrub which obtains a height of 9.1 to 15.2 meter approximately but under cultivation it is never allowed to grow beyond plucking height because then if it grows beyond plucking height it plucking plucking will, will be Uh, difficult that is why it is never allowed to grow beyond uh, this height and when you see the plant the leaves are alternate generally elliptic to lanceolate with serrate or tooth margins and the characteristic fra fragrance and aroma of the tea leaves is due to the presence of numerous oil glands uh, when you see the flowers yellow sort Uh, centered white or pinkish fragrant flowers are born on leaf axils uh, which are either singly or in groups of 2 to 4 and they uh, they produce at maturity 3 to 3 cell woody capsules so when you see the fru uh, the flowers are generally white or pink uh, with yellow in the center and they produce a three centered woody capsule so you can see here the specimen of specimen of the tea plant the phytochemicals which are present inside tea leaf are volatile oil tannins and alkaloid thein and uh, when tea leaves they are infused in hot water they dissolve their alkaloid and oil and the beverage thus results a 
stimulating effect. You can see here, this is the specimen and you can see here, this is white flower, white flowers, the leaves are alternate here, you can see and when you see that uh, when these flowers, they produce a three-celled woody capsule. So this is a specimen and you can see here, uh, you can see that the leaf has serrate margin uh, or toothed margin, the white flowers which are yellow in the center. Now when you cut a section of the tea leaf, what do you see in tea leaf? You see uh, it is like a normal uh, dicot plant. So when you cut a section of the uh, tea, you see that it has upper epidermis which is followed by uh, the mesophyll tissue which is consists of palisade cells and spongy parenchyma and in the center there is a vascular bundle and when you focus uh, if your section is very uh, thin you will be able to see tannin cells inside um, this uh, tea leaf so uh, the the pungency the aroma or the flavor is because of the tannin cells and you can refer uh, economic botany by Kocher for this section. So what does the caption, sh caption say? This is from economic botany by Kocher, this diagram. So a V is or vertical section through tea leaf. Note an arc of xylem with phloem below and uh, the whole tissue being surrounded by slightly lignified band of fibers. So you can see that uh, there are many fibers uh, in here and stomata and unicellular thick walled conical hairs occur only on the lower surface. Bruises are scattered throughout the mesophyll tissue and edioblasts occur at intervals, sometimes stretching across the lower epidermis to the upper epidermis of the wing portion. Tannin cells are well distributed throughout and the marginal serrations of each leaf terminate into single conical gland of and that readily breaks off and is often absent in the mature leaf. So you can see all these uh, in a very thin section. So you have to focus on the tannin cells and other parts you, you must be well aware of what are the other parts of the this plant um, a section of the leaf. And here this is another uh, this is uh, the um, colored diagram so you can see here this round this is uh, vascular bundle in the center and you have upper epidermis which is followed by mesophyll tissue and here you can see that uh, you this mesophyll tissue is divided in elongated palisade cells and spongy parenchyma and you have uh, tannin cells so you, you you can see here some tannin cells which you will be able to see under microscope if your section is very thin so please cut a section and see under microscope in your practical classes uh, to focus on tannin cells and other parts of this leaf so uh, now the fine grades of tea are obtained only from the terminal bud and first two leaves of the young shoots. So you here you can see in this picture that um, the, the plucking is done from the upper two leaves. And the terminal buds are rich in tannin, approximately 28%, which are most valued in trade, commonly referred as golden tips. And the terminal buds also have high caffeine content which is 4 to 4.5% 4, 4. of the dry matter. Several other tea designations that have been given are orange pico, the smallest leaf, 28% tannin pico, the second leaf, 21% tannin. So you can see that smallest leaf has 28% tannin, second leaf has 21%, third, third leaf has 18% and the fourth leaf has 14% tannin. And sometimes even the fifth leaves are used for a tea known as Congo. So actually the youngest leaves are plucked for better tea grades. And uh, the younger the leaf, more is the tannin content. 
so you can refer for more de details economic botany by kocher now let us discuss chemistry of tea leaves again so a freshly plucked tea shoot consists of terminal bud and two leaves just below it we have just discussed that why the freshly plucked tea leaves are um, uh, uh, why the young leaves are plucked because they have high tannin content it consists of 77% moisture and 23% solid matter uh, when nearly 50% of the sal solid matter is insoluble in water and it is composed of crude fibers cellulose starches proteins etc and the remaining soluble consists of uh, 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 soluble part uh, or soluble half consists of our 20 amino acids 30 polyphenolic compounds 12 sugars and 6 organic acids so the tea has uh, not only cellulose starch but also proteins polyphenols sugars organic acids and uh, in fresh leaf thin occurs in combination with tannins and is released in fermentation so the main chemical component is thin along with tannins and a very small amount of theophylline is also present the aroma and flavor of the tea is due to presence of uh, ethereal oil theol and thin is responsible for stimulating and refreshing qualities of tea so you have to remember that thin is uh, the main component which is responsible for the stimulating and refreshing qualities of tea and bitterness and astringency of the leaves are due to tannins so tannins thin theol these are main components of tea what we get from a cup of tea when we drink a cup of tea a cup of tea provides us four calories without any added ingredients with addition of a tablespoon of milk and lump of sugar it gives 40 calories and it also contains b, b uh, several b complex vitamins and nicotinic acid so oh, you can refer economic botany by kocher to understand or um, read more about tea the history of tea and other parts of the tea so students i think you have understood the topic and uh, thank you let us meet in next lecture